Hello, welcome to my video. Um, you all must have realized the need to have some sort of you know confirmation from the user again uh, when they are trying to make um, some critical data operations like deleting an item. So it's good if we get another confirmation to make sure if they really want to do that. Uh, some users might want to play around and know the different icons in the app. So they don't want to be deleting accidentally. So a pop-up window to get confirmation is very important for any project. So let's open up an app. I'm going to show uh, this SharePoint list into uh, my app as a in a gallery. Okay, so let's quickly add a gallery. I'm going to add a, a SharePoint connector. Connector, click here. I'm going to add the site and choose the list. I'm going to pick the my products, which is the same list over here and click connect. Okay, it's been connected. Okay, let's uh, make it big. Okay, so this uh, we're going to rename it to uh, a delete icon. Okay, the icon name is trash. So we're going to reuse uh the inbuilt icons over here so the code to delete uh, a selected item is remove uh, the collection name which is the list over here my products and the item is this item which is the the currently selected one yeah that's it so let's click a five. Let's delete something which is in the down. Test one, test one, 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 two, 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 which is over here. Okay, let's try to delete. Click. Okay, it's gone now. Let's go back over here and refresh. Yes, as you can see, that code has been gone. Good. So as you might have witnessed, there is no confirmation shown to the user. So let's create one. So first we need to create a local variable that governs when to show the pop-up window. Yeah. So let's go to the visible property of the form uh, on visible. So when the form is visible for the first time, we're going to create a variable called, let's call it uh, delete pop-up. And we put it to false the very first time when it comes and we are setting the variable to be false so uh, so that's this variable so we created a variable so remember this uh, name uh, now we will create uh, uh, a rectangle I'm gonna use a rectangle over here let's put it to top and make it to full width so that it comes as a full pop-up window so that the user will not go and uh, click some other controls while the pop-up is open. So this is going to be the pop-up uh, background for the pop-up. Uh, let's add, let's change the color to something. Let's put light curl. Okay. Now we add a, a label over here. Let's put a saying a warning message saying, are you sure you want to delete this item okay uh, we put it somewhat let make it bold and make it somewhat bigger so that it gets the user attention okay now we need to add uh, two buttons let's add quickly two buttons over here let's put it somewhere here okay first button we call it yes yes i'm confirming that i want to delete this item and the other one is no i don't want to so the user changes here is mine okay so uh this is being added over here okay so the first button is the uh yes uh upon confirmation so if they click still this yes i still want to delete this so the code is we're going to go ahead and remove the 
one that is being selected by the user so remove my products uh, and this time um, since the uh, button is outside the gallery control that this item will not work if you start typing this item will not come because it's not in the context of the uh, button where it's been placed now so that's why we have to go and get the gallery one dot selected so this will give this will still give what the user has selected in the gallery um, so it's the same code you just change the this item instead to gallery one dot selected um, that's it then after that we're gonna close this pop-up window by disabling the uh, changing the variable to false okay uh, you can just copy the same from here over here go to this button one and put the same code over here so after the delete is con is executed and i need to uh, make the pop up go away okay and of course the same code has to come over here in the no because the user has changed the mind he don't want to delete he just wants to close the items too uh, he just want to close the pop-up so this will go away okay uh, there is a typo here sorry okay okay done so let's group all the four controls which is the rectangle the label and the two buttons okay so the rectangle shift uh, press the control and start clicking the left uh, uh, left side the control names okay the control and you, you can make sure all the four controls has been selected so press control and start pressing the start selecting the controls so you can show make sure all the four controls has been selected yeah then click here or then click on group so we are grouping the the controls to just one so at the same time all the four controls will appear and it will also disappear okay let's name it group then you pop up okay so this group of controls which is two buttons and the label and the background rectangle should all appear together when the delete button is clicked and also should disappear when the no is clicked or even if the yes is clicked that happens after the deleting the item okay so we have to uh, go to the visible property of this group and instead of this one we put the variable name where delete pop-up so this will determine dynamically when to show the pop-up or not okay then the final step is to go to the so the delete icon and remove this code where we had this previously and put the update context let's just simply copy and this time it has to show the pop window so on click of this button we are changing the variable name uh, value to true so that the pop-up will appear but inside the group uh, either if you click yes button it will first delete the selected item and then it will disable it will hide the pop-up if you click no button it will still hide the pop-up window yeah okay so then let's test it click f5 let's go down let's pick this which is this one yeah we're going to try to delete this item click on delete the pop-up appears or if you want to delete okay we click no it didn't delete it just showed up yeah and we click again and this time we click yes and it's gone so if you come back here so test with the uh, all new ones is gone now it's disappeared cool so let's go back here and do one more trick if you set, notice what whenever I click the uh, item it doesn't tell what I have selected for example if I click TV remote it doesn't show um, what I have clicked so uh, it's not that user-friendly okay so we take this one step forward so go to the groups 
expand go to the label where it shows the display message which says are you sure you want to delete this item so instead of uh, that we just try to put um, instead of saying this item we just say how about we show the title of the item and this has been selected okay so we add gallery one dot selected dot title so it will show the title and we putting the same text again are you sure you want to delete the selected item we put it somewhere okay so this will make sure it will tell what we have selected okay let's test it click one it says are you sure you want to delete the headphones item no i thought i was clicking the extension cable item then i click on yes so yeah cool so that's it for this video so please subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the like button to help my youtube algorithm so reach more people um so thanks for watching this video bye